And when I reject that, when I stumble at or resist something that he says, I can hear it and be obedient or I can walk off into it in rebellion. So we have Korah among us today. Every time we hear the word come to us in the truth and it's time to change this stuff that I'm walking around in, I have a, an opportunity to be faithful and obedient or to become Korah and listen to the enemy of the Father. Yeah, yeah. Um, just one final thing. In verse uh, 3, when they're accusing, making the accusations against mm -hmm. Moses and Aaron, verse 4, this morning I was reading it, there's a several times, it, well, it says, so when Moses heard it, he fell on his face. Mm -hmm. So there was several times going through the wilderness with these stiff-necked people that Moses had to fall on his face. Yep. And what it reminded me of is, <laughs> get ready for the lightning to strike, duck. Yeah. <laughs> so I would yeah. duck, you know, yeah. I would fall on my face. But it reminds me too of Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. You know, God, the abomination, uh, there is seven, you know, and the last one is a false witness who speaks lies and one who sows discord among the brethren. Yeah, that's one of the things that Yahweh hates. He don't hate a whole lot of stuff, but that's one of them.